circular bioeconomy has potential to build a sustainable future. And I want to look at it from circular economy in bioenergy and climate change. And uh, when in the work that we are involved in, uh, the way we look at circular bioeconomy is that we look at it from the perspective of uh, recovering uh, bio resources for energy and also for socioeconomic and environmental sustainability. Just to give a few examples is that uh, we are looking at um, using tree branches, tree prunings from uh, trees on farm and recovering that for bioenergy. You know, getting the prunings, getting the branches is part of silvicultural practice on trees on farm. Maybe trees being produced for timber, but then using the prunings and branches for, for energy. And then the other thing we are looking at is processing of crop and tree residues for energy like fuel briquettes uh, for household and commercial use. And the other thing is looking at processing the tree residues, crop residues for biochar. And biochar is when, you know, charcoal is buried in soil for soil improvement. And uh, when we look at these simple uh, practices, then uh, circular bioeconomy in bioenergy uh, contributes into mitigating climate change. And for successful uh, circular bioeconomy uh, in bioenergy, to really contribute to mitigating climate change, there are three things really we need to look at and we need to do this. One is to sustainably produce the biomass for bioenergy. And when this biomass is growing, it serves as carbon sinks. Secondly, we need to improve the efficiency of processing biomass into bioenergy. The efficiency has to contribute to reducing emissions, reducing uh, waste, and also optimizing the resource recovery. And then the third thing is that uh, we need to look at enabling policy and regulation framework in bioenergy such that there is support for commercialization of the innovations. And then the security is profitable for socioeconomic and for environmental sustainability. Africa has very high potential for producing biomass energy sustainably. And we have innovations that are already being implemented and therefore there is need to for support in terms of research, development, uh, private sector involvement in terms of making biomass energy and the security uh, sustainable. It requires uh, multiple partnerships and participation.